A couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to use Power Automate to automatically scan and categorize your emails so you can put them into bunches where you can perform various different actions, like maybe you've forgotten to reply to something. However, Microsoft have just made this so much easier. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the pre-built actions that you can now use to perform this job with no fuss, no code, no graph API use. So we're here in the wonderful world of Power Automate. I'm gonna manually trigger this for this demonstration. We're gonna use the Outlook group of actions. And if we see them at the top there and we click see more, you may notice that last time you looked, this list was a lot smaller. The action we're actually gonna pick for this demo is assigns an Outlook category. But first of all, let's go and get a bunch of emails from my inbox here. I've got how many emails there? Six emails. Some of those emails might have conditions that I would manually go and assign a category. So I might choose that anything's got no reply in the uh, sender might be spam. So I might categorize it. You could have whatever rule you want. That's not the point of this. I just want to show you that you can select emails and categorize them automatically. So note that I've probably got what? Three emails, two emails at least, three emails with no reply. So First of all, let's get emails. We'll use version three of the action. They've slightly reordered the boxes. Doesn't matter, it's exactly the same process. You choose where you want to look. You make sure you've got a valid connection that is authorized to read that inbox. If not, change the connection, choose one that's got permissions on the inbox, and that'll work for shared inboxes as well. Here, I'm just gonna change this so it's not unread messages, and I'm gonna choose the top 10 because I know there's six emails that I'm gonna get. So that'll go and get me all the emails. Let's put a little test in now using a condition. And the test is gonna be against the person who sent me an email, so the from. If the from contains no reply, that's when we're gonna assign a category. If it matches that condition, which three of my emails should do, then we go back into the Outlook group. And you'll notice there are two variants. This will do that assignment of category in bulk to a whole bunch of emails. Because I'm in a for each loop here, I've got one individual email in scope at any one given time. So I'm gonna use this assigns an Outlook category. What we're gonna pop in here, if we go to dynamic content, there are two ways you can do this, but they give you the same result. The first one, you could choose the current item and then index to the message ID. Or if you actually choose the message ID from the get emails action, which is technically the one outside the for each loop, what Power Automate is clever enough to know is that you want the message ID, but in the context of the for each loop. And I'll prove that by just copying this. Technically, this is an expression. I'll go into the expression editor and paste it there. And you can see what it's doing is it's indexing into the for each action, which is here, and it's choosing the ID piece of data for that individual message. So it's doing the right thing. Click add. Now all we need to do is just decide what the category is. We might have categories that we've got from our emails, but in this case, I'm just gonna generate a spam category. We're gonna save it and then we're gonna test it. So what we can see here is it runs. The first condition was met for one of my emails. Let's just have a quick look at the emails that came through. I'm showing the raw outputs. I quite like to do this so I can validate what's going on. The first email came from a no reply. So that's good. I expected it to pop down into this leg. Technically, it should have assigned a category. Let's go and have a look, see whether this works. There we go. So it's automatically assigned the spam category there. Again, I could now read that email. I could look for that category piece of data and I could do things with it. So I can automatically assign and then automate to move that to a read later. Perhaps that's not a spam, perhaps it's a read later or an archive, something like that. But you can now automate your emails really comfortably. So I hope that helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get more in my series on Power Automate. And I hope to see you next time.